Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to my video and Happy New Year to everybody out there. All right, so what we're doing today is we're doing a review. This is a full review of this Hyper Tough HT300 automotive scan tool. Vehicle and diagnostic scan, pair with repair, blah, blah, blah. Uh, great if you guys have like a check engine light. Battery system checks, mark checks, uh, stream data, freeze frame data. One year warranty, guys. I got this for about $50 um, at Walmart. To be honest with you, I personally think it's a little bit expensive. Particularly at Walmart for... An OBD2 scanner but let's go through what uh, what system that it scans if you guys have this definitely leave a comment in the comment section let us know whether this is a decent scan tool for the price all right my favorite scan tool if you guys don't know already was an Autel that I picked up at Walmart for 20 bucks, that was uh, three or four years ago before all the whole inflation uh, thing uh, uh, happened. But essentially, this is uh, there is uh, an in-app in -app, uh, connection for this. And if you guys have the app for it, you guys can actually... Uh, okay, so let's go through the list. Okay, what it says, it, it covers 1995 and newer retrie retrieves generic uh, info reads and clears check engine light but if you guys download the app it'll display code priority displays code severity displays code definition battery and alternator test views freeze frame data uh, views live stream data covers all 100 obd2 modes reads and clears abs break uh, codes clears <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, I read this wrong. My fault. Apparently HyperTuff has three versions of this. All right, and I was going through the list. I thought this was uh, an in-app, um, uh, there's an in-app included with this, but that's not true. All right, I think the in-app is actually uh, the Bluetooth, the uh, the Bluetooth version of this as sells for, but all right. So HD300 is where, where this is at, and this is, the uh the list of what it does let's go up the list uh by the way i want to demo this for you guys all right it's gonna it's gonna be demoed um uh just just wait guys it's gonna be demoed uh views live data stream views frozen uh freeze frame data battery and alternator test uh i am emissions and smog uh check readiness displays code definition Displays code severity, displays code priority, reads and clears check engine light, uh, re 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 retrieves generic uh, OBD to the codes, covers 1996 and newer. <coughs> uh, if you guys don't know me, I actually prefer the plug-in type, which, is, which this is. But the, uh, the in-app actually uh, covers um, uh, a whole lot of other things, just such as it clears ABS brake codes, sends and receives SRS airbag codes, clears oil and service. It, this, this doesn't do that. This doesn't do that. Personally, when I, when I went to get this, I thought it was like 20 bucks. But uh, 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 maybe maybe this would be twenty bucks, maybe like four years ago, five years ago. But with inflation, this is like fifty bucks, so it's kind of doubled the price. But uh, let's let's see uh, what this does. I'm gonna do an opening. A in a, 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 a. Let's see what this has. All right, guys. Uh, I will tell you guys this. Okay, these at Walmart is about uh, they're about like sixty to seven dollars, seventy dollars cheaper than what you get. At uh, any of anything that's coming from AutoZone, Advanced Auto, any of any of those places, uh, it's probably uh, this is probably the lowest version that Hardware Freight might have if they have a competitive version of this around like fifty dollars. And uh, to be honest with you, these days with prices of everything going where they are going, 
Uh, this is probably the going rate for something that you would pick up at a store. You might be able to pick up. Actually, I know you probably you you'll be able to pick up something a lot cheaper at uh, uh, on the internet, Amazon, uh, eBay, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, with the same exact features, if not uh, with the same exact features, kinda. So uh, let's uh, take this out and uh, see what we get. Sorry, guys, I don't edit. I apologize. For that, I don't edit, but uh, but uh, I can, but I don't. But uh, here, so we have an instruction booklet that's uh, in between the uh, the liner, and uh, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like, guys. By the way, guys, if you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up, please. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up comment if you think this get up is a little bit strange comment on that too i really don't care uh if you guys don't know anything about me check out my videos on why i have to dis this disguise and uh, i probably won't be saying that all the time because i've said that in like three of these videos where i have this disguise on but i hope you guys like this video and uh this is what it looks like out of the package obviously it's uh it's light it's uh, small, it has a, a USB-C connector and this little sticker here. Um, I like that, it's, that there's a, it's a color display screen. It's small, but um, these buttons you guys see here, uh, up, down, return, and otherwise, we're gonna check all these buttons out. Like I said, you guys have this, Drop a comment in the comment section, all right? Let us know whether this is decent. It's it's decent if you're if, if you're in an emergency and you need to get this at a store. But most people, you know what? If you guys need a readout real fast, you guys should probably drop in AutoZone or Advance Auto, and uh, they'll do it for you. They won't clear anything for you, but they'll do it for you. So let's see what this does. I'm gonna plug it. In. I'm gonna take the sticker off. I'm gonna plug it in. And we'll see what it does. All right, guys. Guys, so I just plugged it in. This is the first screen that comes up. This is not the first screen that comes up, but um, this is the second screen that comes up. The first screen that comes up really doesn't. Uh, it's just some something that says uh, uh, whatever. This is this is the screen. Uh, this is the main screen that pops up first, and we're gonna do that. Uh, unit of measurement, standard, or metric, do that. Press or skip even more with the repair solutions to mobile app. And uh, this is just live, guys, all right? Okay, this is me just showing you what it does. So press it, and uh, it does the auto link in progress. It links the can to skip. Uh, still haven't downloaded repair solutions. Get a verified fix for this trouble code. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna skip that guys okay I don't need I don't need to do that right now uh, <clears throat> replace hybrid battery pack so uh, the battery pack was replaced um, it, I am uh, driving a a Prius uh, 2010 Prius it was replaced you guys can see no check engine light uh, at all and this code is a permanent code and you guys would have to anyway long story short if you guys get permanent codes you guys kind of have to go a year or two before that clears but uh this is as you guys can see this is uh to er erase and uh you can't actually erase this uh, i'm doing this really you can erase this <clears throat> i don't think it got erased guys let me see if it shows up again it probably yeah yeah it, sh it showed up again like i said <clears throat> So I am monitor status. My battery is good, but uh, any 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 of these OBD2 readers I use, it's gonna come up. Uh, see, LD is live data. It's gonna give you a uh, live data, and uh, this is just uh, the downward button. Now, me personally, I don't read live data, but if you guys are really in need of something like that, it's a good thing, you guys. And if you guys are able to read live data, then it's it's definitely a good thing. But let's go to all the different functions that you can do with this. Um, let's go down. Vehicle info. Okay. 
vehicle ID, available modules. Let's see what vehicle IDs uh, it gives you the ID. Uh, man, I really didn't want to do the ID uh, thing, but let's. <coughs> uh, available modes, uh, select can. I, IPT, don't know what that is, but Niter, all this stuff. I'll tell you guys what, um, uh, I'm doing this, it gives you live data, I'm doing this on the go, but, um, <clears throat> and a language selection, Let's see what it has, it says 3 or 14, language selection, you can adjust the brightness, audible tone, I don't, do not know what footer is, but select and press, Let's not select and press. If you guys know what footer is, hotkey legends, unit of measurement, firmware version. Um, uh, the rest of this stuff is just uh, essentially settings for this OBD2 scanner. Um, and this is exact, this is pretty much what it does. And I'll tell you guys what. Um, I'll tell you guys. All right, so I'll tell you guys what. Me personally, I... Uh, I've been sent samples of these. I have my personal. I've had uh, a ton of these different OBD2 scanners. If you guys don't know anything about anything about these OBD2 scanners, uh, you know uh, they cost. They vary in in what they do, and they they run anywhere from these days. I think you could probably pick one up for twenty dollars on Amazon, eBay, all the way up to the thousands. <clears throat> Me personally, the one I use the most is the simplest OBD2 scanner, something like this. But uh, for for fifty bucks, to be honest with you, um, I, I you know if I didn't need it this right away, I would probably just order something from um, Amazon or eBay for for for, for um, maybe like <clears throat> twenty dollars cheaper, I think, or thirty dollars cheaper. But <coughs> but if you guys have this, definitely drop a comment in the comment section, guys. Let us know whether this is a uh, this is decent for you. If you had it for a while, let us know whether it's it, it, it's uh, it, it, it's worth buying for the price. I will tell you guys, if you guys are looking for this and you, know, you guys are in a pinch, picking up from a store is always, most of the time, you know, Walmart is pretty competitive for what's on the internet and, 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 and stuff like that. So a lot of times you could probably buy something cheaper on, on, uh, on eBay or Amazon but like I said you don't but uh, you don't get the one-year warranty and a lot of times after 30 days they're not returnable to, so you actually do get a one-year warranty and uh, Walmart has a great return policy on uh, on anything that they sell so uh, those are that's the good that's the bad as far as what it does uh, this is essentially a simple OBD2 scanner um, if you guys need this, this is probably the cheapest right now that you could pick up uh, at a location. <clears throat> at a location, probably cheaper than anything you could find at Harbor Freight. Probably anything you could find. Definitely something that something that cheaper that you can find uh, uh, from from places just such as um, AutoZone, Advance Auto, any of those other uh, automotive uh, uh, places. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, please leave a comment. Any comment at all. If you guys want to leave a comment, you guys need help, drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, I, sometimes I'll respond. Sometimes I get so busy that I don't. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and uh, take care, guys. All right? Take care.